Hi, good evening everybody. I, w I hope you are keeping well. I have vacation this week, so today I decided to stay at home. I spent some time in the, in the lounge where we have big TV and computer. It's been a long time since I don't sit in front of the computer as I, I used to do. So I, I listen to a lot of music. I could see a number of, of videos of different kinds. So I could also read a lot. I got tired so I decided to finally come to my to my room to watch some TV because I don't know about the news of Spain today. So I have the the channel of news mainly here in Spain. This one is the the one which is which broadcasts news the entire day whatever after finish uh, after this video i will i will say what has gone so far today nationally and internationally anyway so when i was in the, in the lounge in the fr in the front of the computer something took me back you know to those years when i was studying in high school i can remember I had a group of people I worked with, you know, at uh, all school subjects, but mostly we cared so much about English, so we shared that, that activity together in our free time, so we could, like, you know, dedicate so much time to speak English and uh, study and ask each other what everything, you know, seems to to one another. And then also I had some friends who went with me to private school in order to to have more support, to study more hours, to to speed, you know, the improvement of our English skills. So that 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 group has continued for for almost 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 five years. Well, my friends, you know, career carried on on their careers at the university but in my case so I came to Spain my life has changed so it was in 2009 when I came I found myself in another society so I could realize immediately that I have to learn Spanish so one day I will tell you about how I did it I was studying day and night so in order to speed you know the learning because it was it was very important and it was like urgent for me to learn the language because now I am in another society where language is which is key to everything and uh, as an independent person so I, I was you know I didn't talk about working on it so hard in order to make it and finally I succeed and it didn't took so much to me to learn Spanish because I studied and they made it a big effort anyway so today my uh, my goal of this video is just to tell you about one thing about idioms because I could remember when well I was reading I could see one of those idioms I shared in some equations with my mates when we were studying together I remember an English teacher gave us a copy of uh, an English book it was a uh, it's a uh, it was about idioms. Idioms, I think most of you know what idioms are. Every language they have a lot of idioms. Spanish is, is full of idioms. They have plenty, uncountable idioms in Spanish language. And so do in, in so does in English language. So, uh, well, I've, I just just idioms. Uh, I try to to describe them or uh, or to explain them. Idioms are like uh, phrases which are made of strange words which have like not so much to do with the the meaning of those idioms. So it's just like a meaning of something made of different words which normally don't express that meaning, but it's just like combined combined in that strange way. And it's in all languages, so it's a common linguistic thing. 
in humans' lives. So, whatever. So, I'm gonna... <laughs> well, it's, it's funny because... Not funny because of what I'm saying. It's funny because I could remember those years. And it was funny when I was collaborating with those guys and sharing those activities we, t we did together. Anyway, so I tried to mention some of them and then I end up this video. Well, I try to think about some of them. Well, to smell a rat. Look, to smell a rat. It's a strange sentence. To smell is the verb to smell. And uh, a rat is a, a very disgusting animal. Despicable. Nobody. If you want to insult somebody, so you can call them a rat. And if you call someone a rat, it's very much <laughs> likely that person to punch you or to disrespect you because a rat is such a disgusting word to, to call someone well to smell a rat means to to suspect to to suspect is something has gone wrong to s well imagine for example i give you an, an example if i leave my house i leave everything as i left it and then i came back i saw things changed something moved it's not as i left them so for immediate immediately when you notice that things have changed are not as as you left them so then you smell a rat and you become like wow what has gone wrong something has must have happened you smell a rat so you have to find out to smell a rat is uh, a rat is to to suspect and because something is strange something is like uh, inadequate just you have to find it because there must be maybe a problem something has occurred anyway to smell a rat i have friends so i come to meet them so i find them different there must be a reason a reason beh behind that behind that so i smell a rat i have to find out because it, they don't like they don't look as i know them at that moment so where you smell a rat because you have to find out you suspect that something has happened so this is it to smell a rat it's an idiom made of two sentences two two words which just like don't mean what the sentence exactly says it may mean something different so i'm gonna try to think about someone else well, 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 as sharp as a knife, as sharp, a knife when it cuts, just like, it cuts just like, you know, in a way which is so effective. So when someone is as sharp as, as a knife, that means he's very smart, that his brain works in a way which is, uh, you know, extraordinary, ordinary, you know. So if someone is so smart, so intelligent, he can solve and find solutions to things very quickly. And those people, you know, when you hear that someone is as sharp as, as, as a knife, that means that person is highly intelligent and smart. Well, uh, I think about someone else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me think about another one. What would be the following one? Well, 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 well. Mm -hmm. Well, to see the light. To see the light. Look, I have the light on. That's the light. But it's not the light I want to see. To see the light means... Means to say, you know, a result of something. Whether it's an effort or whether you, you want to find something. And, uh, you know, you are making effort because you don't see the light. You are still just, like, struggling through. You know, trying, doing effort in order to see the light. Imagine, for example, I, for example, I learn English, but it's always difficult for me to speak. Because for as much as I effort I do, it's still I, I still don't see the light because it's still difficult for me to speak so the light is just like to see the light is to see a good result of something you know to accomplish something imagine you are looking for something or 
you have a problem, you want to fix something so it doesn't fix. So for as long as the process takes, so the light doesn't come out, so you don't see the light. So when you see the light is that like there is a solution for a problem or a good result has came out. You came to an end of what you wanted to accomplish, so now you see the light, so it's clear, find something else to do. And, uh, well, I can think about something else. Mm. Uh, for example, say that again, say that again. Say that again means to, to agree that something is true. For example, if someone says something is true, and you want to agree with them, because obviously it's true, and you have to agree, so you say, you can tell that person, to, you can say that again, say it again, you can say that again, you are right, it's, it's true what you say, say that again. Well, a friend of mine, for example, I give you an example, told me that Cristiano Ronaldo is a great player, so I told him, you can say that again, because everybody knows. Nobody can den deny it that, th that Ronaldo is not a big player. So, I think I, 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 gonna, I, I, I finished this video. Well, idioms have a lot of them, so I can bring all of them just right now. So, I'm gonna bring you a number of them in Spanish just very soon. Anyway, so I have to finish this because I need to watch some TV and see what what has gone today, you know, in Spain and uh, elsewhere. Uh, so I wish you, you know, all the best. And I want to thank my friends who talk to me from different countries, you know, in my, in my in private, in both Spanish and language uh, and English. So I will just. Well, say just it's a pleasure. You can keep talking to me, and uh, well, so now I have to to stop here and study idioms because they are very, very useful. They help, you know. They help, you know, your fluency because when you speak to a, na a native person and you use their idioms, so they like it. They become friendly to you when then. So I think they are interesting and important in, in you know, in, in any language. So who cares about learning and wants to you to achieve big levels? So you have to learn and accept and add everything that the language, you know, combines. So whatever. Take care. See you next time. Good luck, everybody. Bye.